to today's game. Slightly brighter face than on Monday. <laughs> you want me to start? Yes. Okay. Um, still not quite that uh, full performance we're looking for, but it was, uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. The, uh, obviously, the, the batting was hugely exciting today, um, seeing runs coming from various members of the team throughout the tournament, but uh, seeing a big 100 uh, from Matthew Cross and Cal McLeod again showing his, uh, his class um, uh, against spin. Um, bowlers came out and we were put under pressure second half. Um, and that was good. That was good for, for, uh, for us. We really needed that. Um, and we uh, quickly turned it around. And uh, as, what we, as we've done throughout the tournament is we, uh, we continually look to take wickets and we took a big cluster of wickets. And very quickly, we, I think we had them about 100, 100 for six, roughly. Um, and uh, fair play to Usman and uh, his partner. They put together a fantastic partnership and put, put us again under a bit of pressure. Um, but it was hot out there, and I think the guys are feeling it, so I think they'll enjoy the uh, day off tomorrow. Um, Kyle, you, you say you're getting there, but of course now you're, you're top of the table in the Super 6, so that must be a massive confidence boost and a motivator for you. Yeah, very pleased. Uh, very pleased for the guys, uh, very pleased for everyone back home, everyone who has contributed to, to get us to where we are at the moment. The uh, su support staff have also been been excellent. Um, made some good choices throughout this this tour of when when to train, when to not train, and when to enjoy. Um, and uh, we also enjoy on the field, and and uh, we need to again enjoy this performance um, as we have done everyone so far, and then enjoy uh, Matthew Cross's hundred. Make sure we have a, a you know a celebratory drink with him, and also it was Richie Barrington. Uh, he became Scotland's leading uh, capped player. Um, so congratulations to him too. You mentioned Matthew Cross's 100. Um, how good was that knock and how, how quickly is he progressing now, a second, second 100 in two months? Yeah, he's, um, he's improving very, very quickly. Um, he went through a, a little tough phase um, probably about a year ago um, and he, he took himself away and decided he needed to do a bit of work and, and he's done that and he's come out in the space of two months or so and he's got, uh, he's got two ODI hundreds now, both against UAE. Um, but the, I think the way he, he took in the pressure today, he soaked up a few deliveries, um, but he continued to put a partnership on with uh, you know, myself and Callum initially and then and, uh, um, moved the scoreboard on fairly swiftly in the end. Once he started playing his cross-bat shots, sweeps and um, slog sweeps, the ball started sailing around the park. So you can see the power he has. I know he's really small, but he's got a little bit of power in there too. You mentioned that cluster of wickets that you got, um, but then you also struggled towards the end to finish it off. Um, do you think that's going to be a concern for the bowlers, playing better opposition, Ireland and the West Indies? Um, I think it was nice to be nice to have that that problem be challenged there. Um, maybe we uh, suffered a little bit in the heat today, um, but we've got a couple of days to rest and recover and, and uh, uh, think about what our plan of attack will be leading into our next game. But uh, in the end, in the end, we we bowled them out with what two two and a bit overs to spare. So that's every game so far we bowled the side out. I keep making the point, but it's the way we want to try and play our cricket um, and. Uh, hopefully we're imposing ourselves and in, in showing our, our aggressive side when we're out there. So, like I said right at the start, you've got to be willing to lose to win. And um, our, our bowlers are being extremely brave at the moment and uh, credit to them. All right. Well done again and uh, all the best back in Harare. Cheers. Thank Thanks, you. Kyle.